Hey, so I've got a quick review via video that I'm going to do for you about a new demo bar that I just got from the guys at Dead On. And the demo bar that they recently came out with is called the Annihilator, which is probably one of the coolest names I've ever heard of for a tool. It's uh, shaped not unlike a hammer, um, it's got some grabby areas, and then this gnarly spike on the end of it. I got interested in this after I saw a post about this on Twitter. Uh, having been a, a fan of uh, handheld demo bars, I actually own a uh, Fat Max uh, FUBAR, which we all know what that stands for. It's a 15 inch um, that I basically use to tear out every piece of paneling in my basement. Some of the things I liked about the um, FUBAR uh, was the fact that it was small, it was not unlike a hammer, um, and it had this, this wide area which you could um, uh, wrench free 2x4s, uh, has a hammer on it, um, and then has a uh, crowbar sort of uh, ending on it, and then also a nail puller. It's a pretty gnarly little, uh, little deal. Now the Annihilator takes it to the next level. This has got, again, um, some of the same uh, ridge grabbing areas uh, in order to pull out boards of, of varying depths. Not only like the FUBAR, it's got a hammer claw type area uh, that allow you to uh, wedge your way into things and, and pull out uh, boards uh, and or nails. That's kind of where the similarities stop. And then we move right into why the Annihilator is a, a far superior demo bar. Uh, first off, if you notice, this whole area um, on the front of the hammer is actually tapered like an axe head. Once you find your way into an area, or you bust your way into an area, will tear through a wall and specifically sheetrock like uh, well, a hot knife through butter. The other piece of this, which is probably uh, most important, is um, the fact that when you're moving, you're, uh, you're have latched onto a piece of wood that you want to remove, um, your fulcrum is actually coming straight out from the board. Whereas with the FUBAR, you're coming onto the board and then your fingers, again, are going to be resting against the wall or potentially some other dangerous area. Um, again, with the annihilator, this area right here is going to be jammed right up against the wall and it's going to leave you uh, a plenty of room out, out into the room to really yank it free from what you're trying to do. The other thing which can be overlooked uh, is this giant massive spike on the end of it. I pierced a uh, concrete block with it, um, not in a wall, mind you, but on the ground, and it worked uh, with amazing force to just break through things. Because of the way it's set up, it actually becomes more of a, a handhold. You can actually use this to ram it right into the wall. Uh, in addition to having the nail pull that you find on the FUBAR, um, there's also some uh, socket size uh, holes where you can remove, loosen and remove um, nuts. I've got one here that's about 5 8 uh, 3 quarter inch, and then one here that's about 3 8 inch. Not something you'd think you'd need until you were like, hey, I don't have to go get another tool to do that. Last but not least, uh, one of my favorite things, the guys over at uh, Dead On called this out when they sent it over. Uh, this area up towards the front actually allows it to, uh, to hang off of a piece of wood or a peg or something else that you've got hanging around the shop. The other thing that this is really excellent in doing is pulling bottle caps off of bottles. Um, so if it's been that kind of day where you're just bashing the hell out of things, um, this could kind of come in handy. The thing that I discovered, uh, which was just by accident, Unlike uh, the FUBAR, this can actually stand on its head um, next to you while you're working so that you don't have to set it down on the ground, and again, it just makes it that much quicker to pick up. So in short, the Annihilator is probably the best demo bar that I've ever used. This axe head alone, the fact that again, you're grabbing um, away from the wall and you're not cramping your fingers into the wall, uh, really make this a superior, um, a superior use. The only downside I might mention um, this uh, hammer claw, not quite as, uh, as agile as the longer claw that you might find on the, on the FUBAR. Uh, but again, I think if you are going to be trying to bust open walls, this is going to be your best friend anyway. So, uh, yeah, I give this two glowing thumbs up.